Welcome back to Fair and Friends Friday. I'm Karen Waltuck, the horticulturist for the Beatrix Fair and Garden Association in Hyde Park, New York. Today we're joined by a very special guest, local Hudson Valley resident, Alexis Tellefson, who is a potter and owns her own studio and classroom space in Middletown, New York. She's joining us today to do a short demonstration of the workshop we hope to have her teach at this season's third Thursday cultural program that unfortunately will have to be postponed for a future year due to the coronavirus. She's going to make with us a really simple activity that features some of the leaves of the Beatrix Fair and Garden in a leaf relief dish activity. So let's go join Alexis and have fun making this craft with her. Hi, my name is Alexis and today we're gonna make some air dry clay dishes using leaves from our garden. So air dry clay is something that you can buy online Unlike regular ceramic clay, you don't have to fire it in a kiln. It's just, you make your pieces and you set them out and in a couple days they're dried and ready to use. Um, they're not water safe, but they're great for decorative items like little dishes or trinket trays. Um, so we're gonna use a, just a few tools. We have um, a wooden dowel for a rolling pin. We have a small clay knife and we have a cookie cutter. And then we have leaves from the garden and a couple different dishes that are gonna be forms that we're gonna shape our dishes over. Um, so the first step is you wanna break off a piece of your air dry clay. And I like to roll it into a ball just to compress it. And air dry clay, um, it's not something that you need a lot of water with. It's better to work with it more dry, but I have a little dish here um, to help with my cracking. Okay, so then I'm just gonna press it down and roll out what's called a slab. And a slab is just a thin sheet of clay. Um, to get an evenly shaped disc, I like to rotate it 90 degrees back and forth and working on newsprint or paper helps prevent the clay from sticking to your work surface. So depending on the thickness of your dish, um, you don't wanna go too thin on the first roll because when you place the leaves on, you're gonna, it's gonna get thinner. So I'm just gonna take these leaves and arrange them, keeping in mind that I'm gonna use a, a cookie cutter about this size. So just tap them down a little bit. And these leaves have nice um, thick veins on the back so that you can get a really vivid impression when you roll over with the rolling pin. So now I'm just gently pressing the leaves in with my rolling pin. Not a lot of pressure, just enough to kind of get them to stick. And then I'm going to peel them off. You can see the light impressions that are left. And just use a cookie cutter to press out the shape. Sometimes the cookie cutter doesn't go all the way through. So I like to leave the cutter down and pull the clay off around it uh, so it doesn't distort the shape. And then you have this nice impressed clay slab. So you can have your leaves um, on the inside of the dish or on the outside. I'm gonna have them on the inside. Um, and then you can choose between different forms to drape your clay slab over. Because this is small, I'm gonna just use um, a small, small little bowl as my mold. Um, just compressing the edges, kind of smoothing out the little frayed bits, and then flipping it over, centering it on the bowl, and gently pressing down. And if you want to smooth out this edge more, you can just dip your finger in water 
and run it along the edge. And then I'm just going to gently pop it off, flip it over, and let this air dry. And it depends on the type of clay that you use, how long it needs to dry. This particular brand, um, I believe it's like 18 hours. So just leave it out flat. And then you can go in with any kind of paint afterwards to um, embellish, or not at all, you can leave it white. So this. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed making that craft with Alexis, and we hope that you'll watch future videos of Fair and Friends Friday. So please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next week.